AI trade uh, stole the spotlight this year, that's for sure. Recent months, though, investors have begun debating whether the pace of progress in AI has plateaued. This year, we only got a handful of new model developments from the biggest players. So if 2024 was the year advancements peaked, well, then what does that mean for next year? Deirdre Bosa is digging into that. It's been a question I know you've been entertaining for some time these last few weeks, Deirdre. A very big question. And put simply, the AI race is set to be reshaped in 2025. Let me explain how. We've already begun to see new strategies emerge. As model advancements stalled, the big players, they rushed. They really competed with each other to ship as many products and demos as they possibly could in December. You had OpenAI's 12 days of ship miss, Apple Intelligence hit devices, Microsoft shipped agents, Google had at least 10 releases. But guys, that is just the beginning. In 2025, a new AI paradigm that values reasoning and use cases over technological leaps, that will shift the entire landscape and it could upend the current winners and the darlings of the trade. Open source and small language models, they will continue to gain momentum. Businesses, they're starting to realize that they don't need the largest, most compute-heavy models to deliver real-world value. Smaller models, they have proven faster, cheaper. They can be fine-tuned for specific tasks. Open source models, meanwhile, they're becoming more attractive because they're affordable and accessible. Yesterday, we discussed China's DeepSeek model that competes with some of the most advanced Western models built for a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the time. That is a huge shift on its own. Now, the shift also creates an opening for new players. In 2025, we expect to learn more about what Ilya Setskever and Mira Marathi are up to. Those are two key OpenAI executives who left this year to start their own ventures. Setskever, he raised a billion dollar seed round. Murati reportedly looking to raise a hundred million dollars. Now, another implication of peak AI progress to think about in the year ahead, the race is no longer just about scale or speed. It's about intelligence that can think and reason. You're going to hear a lot more about reasoning next year. An open AI researcher put it this way. He said, it turns out that having a bot think for just 20 seconds in a hand of poker, that got the same boosting performance as scaling up the model for 100,000 times and training it for 100,000 times longer. Now, that shift in priorities, that will require new kinds of hardware, one that shifts the focus from training chips to inference chips designed for this case, reasoning. And those are better suited for real-time decision-making and multi-step processes. That could disrupt the dominance of GPU-centric hardware and cause mega caps to rethink their AI capex and infrastructure. David and Leslie, a theme, you know, in the Valley over the last few months and that people have talked about for a while, actually, is who's going to be the Alta Vista? Who's going to be the Yahoo of the AI uh, era? And we're still early here, right? It could even be an open AI, dare I say it, or an Anthropic. A new player could come swooping in with these new changes and shifting landscape to become the dominant player. This is all something to keep an eye on next year. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. I try to keep track of it, of course, in part through your reporting, Deirdre. You know, though, NVIDIA would tell you, it, it, all right, we moved from the large language models, but you're still going to need our GPUs for inference. We're, we're still the only game in town. Is that true? I wouldn't call them the only game in town. They're maybe the best game in town, right? NVIDIA is not just you know, chips, not just a hardware maker. It's built a whole ecosystem, software around its product. So it is very well positioned, but I think there's a lot more competition. You have TPUs from Google, you have Amazon's own chips, you have new players that can do inferencing at a cheaper cost that's maybe more available as well than the NVIDIA chip. So I think it's an open question. I wouldn't call them the only game in town for inferencing. For training, yes. Yeah, and then there's, of course, the potential that we may have peaked in AI innovation here in the U.S., but elsewhere is still on the upswing.